Dun, dun, dun. So, this is my mini for the 716 Advent. And look, there is a little um, 3D printed sock blocker. So cute. From Kalisha, I have Deborah Norville Serenity Sock that she dyed with avocado. And two little chocolates. I did pull out another tiny little piece of fiber. I don't want to get too far behind. So we'll see if I spin today. I'm hoping. From Marianne, Cinnamon Vanilla Stash Tea. And from Germany, this beautiful purple and green yarn. Yay! Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to start knitting with yesterday's Germany yarn before I do anything else. Even though everything is so pretty. Uh, there was only one new Vlogmas upload overnight because you know I only slept like five and a half hours. So I am going to read. Yes, I was trying to decide if I was going to audiobook. I'm going to act. I am going to actually read. I am going to start uh, Shadow Glass by Rin Chipeco because even though I'm reading the nonfiction book, um, A Queer History of the United States for Teens or something like that, it isn't hardcover so it doesn't lend itself to laying open for reading, but Shadow Glass does, so I'm going to read that. Lies, I am not in headspace to read, so I just tried reading Shadow Glass, but I'm definitely not in the mood to start anything because I couldn't get into paragraph one. Not a fault of the book, totally a fault of my headspace. Um, I just don't want to start something. Hi, what are you doing? Did you come in to be on the, on the vlog? Good morning, good morning. This is my sister's dog. Her name is Dahlia. She is a little chow. Look at that little purple tongue. She's a little girl. Hi. You're jealous? You're jealous? How could I talk to her? Does it hurt your feelings? A little bit? Oh, you're not talking to me? Um, so I picked up A Queer History of the United States for Young People, and... I had a little more success with that. I think I read two pages, but that's just not where my headspace is right now. So, I don't know. I guess I'll go clean a thing for five minutes and try to regroup. Today is a day for surprise teas. I am not going to drink one now, but I will be out of the house later. I'm going to do laundry. And I also teach a class tonight, and I regret yesterday that I didn't take tea with me to the yarn store because it is so much easier to keep hydrated for me during the winter if I'm drinking something warm and flavored. So I'm gonna pick a tea. So I didn't look, I just stuck my hand in and picked at random, and I had a rooibos red tea. This will be coming with me to all the places. Patrick brought me breakfast. Clearly I was hungry since I had devoured a quarter of it before I even thought to vlog it. <laughs> it is a corned beef hash omelet. It is delicious. I'm so excited. My package is about to be delivered. You know, in within the next hour because the mail truck just pulled up. They park on the side of my house, so I just have to wait for the package to be delivered. But packages are delivered last. Packages are delivered after letters and stuff are delivered, and they do the whole street of letters first, and then package. But I'm so excited, so excited, so excited, so excited! <laughs> is it hard work being so perfect, Peanut? It is. Do you need to take a nap? Yeah. Yay! My last Advent Swap package is here! 
So I just said that this was an advent swap, but it's not just an advent swap. It's a friend swap. Um, Haley, who longtime viewers will know I mention fairly frequently, um, and I exchange presents every year. So this is a friend swap plus an advent swap. So look at this. This is gorgeous. Who is this from? Created by LCB. That's gorgeous. My cat is very upset because the dogs went outside and she's not allowed to go outside, so I'm sorry for all her noise. Um, this is the Cozy Knitter 24 Stripe Advent Skein for 2020. Last year, Haley, back up. <laughs> Haley makes herself shorty socks, so she only needs a half skein of yarn to get a pair of socks for herself. So last year, she sent me her other halves of the 2018 and 2019 advents. So now I have a 2020 skein too. And viewers from last year will know that I made both of those socks into matching socks by using the same pattern. I'm sorry, my cat is ridiculous. Um, so I will be knitting this sock in that same pattern so I can have three socks that are matching. Or three socks that make a triple, a threesome. It's not a pair because there's more than two. So that's exciting. I'll read the note on that later. Ba -da, ba -da, what is this? Three Irish girls in the Maleficent colorway. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this is from Hooked by Happenstance, who is my friend Kendra and Haley's friend Kendra too. Um, look at how cute this owl bag is. That's a good size. So my hand from bottom of my palm to fingertip, middle fingertip, is seven and a half inches. So this is probably like a 10 inch bag, 10 inch deep. And it's so cute. I love the colors of these owls. And it's got a yellow zipper and fun contrasty yellow fabric. And this is my advent mini calendar. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. So Haley made these bags for advent swapping. Uh, three years ago, two years ago, I don't know, some number of years ago. So she sent me minis in these bags and then I sent her the following year minis in these bags. So now she's sending them back to me. Yay, so I need to pick three. I want one of these and a snowman and kind of feeling a little let it snow. Mm, I'm so excited! Today's socks are coming to you from my grandma's basement because I'm doing laundry. They are just shorty socks. Um, it is like a sports DK weight sock. I knit them probably a little too loose and they're <laughs> too big. So this is likely their last wearing with me and then they will go in Patrick's sock drawer because that's what happens when my socks eventually get stretched out and won't go back to um won't go back down after washing they become patrick socks hi friends it's about 10 30 in the p.m and i am quite tired 
Oh, I feel like today was super, super long. Or maybe it's just a residual from yesterday was actually long. No, today was long. So I taught this morning and early afternoon, and then I went to my grandma's house. You'll have seen footage of that already, um, so that I could do laundry. Did three, well, I did two and a half loads of laundry. I left the third load of laundry in the dryer, and I will pick it up from my mom's house on Sunday because I am going over there for Sunday dinner because I feel really weird not having my kids. So I'm going to go to my mom's house. Um, yeah, so she's going to finish off my laundry. I had to leave the laundry in the dryer. Well, I didn't have to. I could have brought home damp clothes. But I had a class to teach, and I had a... I didn't leave my house early enough to get to my grandma's house in order to finish the laundry um, in time. <laughs> to There wasn't enough time today. I had afternoon meetings, and then I had a class to teach in the evening, at the yarn shop so to make sure I had adequate drive time. Had I waited for the dryer to finish, I would have arrived to the store two minutes late for my class. So yeah, it's fine. I'll pick it up on Sunday. So it doesn't look like a ton. Um, I only put two, three rows on my buffalo crossing quirky fish cowl but I did do three squares to catch up on the Haley squares so these right here and then I did another three squares that sounds right um so that's you know six squares in a day I have the um the stocking through the heel so it's just stockinette for the leg and then a small cuff and I did some spinning not a ton but um yeah I did spin today so that's good and now I am going to go to bed because I am tired I don't know that I will catch up tomorrow but I have high hopes for the weekend for catching up on knitting.